Well then, it's episode 403 of the Pope on Film podcast. Wow, 403 episodes. Oh, how time has flown. Yes. You know, can you believe that it's already October of 2022 already? Man, feels like it was just February of 2022, and now it's October of 2022. Wow, these last few years have just flown by. Yes, they have. Feels like just feels like just the other day it was 2017. Now it's 2022, which is the year we are currently in right now. I can't believe I'm 45. Mm-hmm. And I still have all of my beautiful flowing hair, you know? Yes. That just goes to show you, you should never watch sports. <laughs> Although I did go bald down there. Uh-huh. But hey, uh, thank God they make Dick Rogaine now, you know? Yes. So. I'm actually braiding his hair yeah. on a weekly basis yeah. down there now. Yeah, she's braiding my penis hair, so. <laughs> it's funny because it looks like it's got two little arms hanging down. Yeah. 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 The braids, yeah. yeah. I also got my penis a fake mustache, too. It, it needs a poncho and a sombrero. I'm telling yeah. you. Well, well, to be fair, everyone wears a penis fake mustache in 2022 that's yes. just the style you know speaking of 2022 which again is the current year in which we all live in let's talk about life in the year 2022 the presidency is of course held by ah, i'm just kidding we don't have a presidency anymore we don't need it all hail emperor trump i've said it so many times <laughs> And I just need to say it again. All hail Emperor Trump. All hail our glorious leader, Emperor Trump. And to think, way back when, our podcast would actually criticize our glorious leader. Wow. Wow, yeah. How, how just, naive and ignorant were we then? Yeah, that brought shame to us, our family, and our ancestors. Yeah. But we are now proud to say that you know, it, ever since 2020, when Bunny and I were finally released from the re-education camp, we turned this show around. Yes. And now we are a film podcast podcast with one goal, to praise our glorious leader, Emperor Trump. All hail, Emperor Trump! Yes. Let's have a moment of silence now, so we can all silently pray, as we do five times a day, to our glorious leader, Emperor Trump. Moment of silence, please, to pray. The existence ray eating May is this I day fray in the abandoned ADO ray Akshay. It starts at eight. The password is church organist. Yes. <laughs> Let us continue to talk about life in the year 2022. That's a short story right there. Already. Yes. Already. This high concept opening is gangbusters. Yes. Life in 2022 is great. We all have self-driving cars, which is so convenient because now the robots who took all of our jobs take our self-driving cars to the jobs we all lost. Oh, so many years ago. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. just that's that's but, easy. That's convenient. But on the plus side with the self-driving cars, I can drink again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's exciting. Also last year, the rapture finally happened, and of course, in a shocking twist, only one person was worthy enough to actually be raptured, <laughs> Richard Simmons. No one saw that coming. No one saw that coming. No. Yeah. Now, of course, the Church of Simmonstology is America's fastest growing religion. Mm -hmm. There are Simmonstologists everywhere. Yes. Trying to get people to to sweat to the oldies, which is which is sweat like their the sin out. out. Yeah, sweat the sweat sin, the sin out, out to the oldies. Uh -huh. Yeah, and of course, let's talk about my family. Oh, so much has happened to my family. Uh, Maxwell is in fifth grade. He's captain of the football team. He's also uh, the head of the school's new pro wrestling team. Aha. Uh -huh. He's always practicing at home like we're sitting there and we're eating dinner. Suddenly you get hit by a chair. Yeah. 
And then Maxwell's on the top ropes. We never should have, in retrospect, we never should have installed ropes in the house, but he's on the top (laughs) rope, dropping the elbow all the time on people. It's very complicated. Eleanor is six years old, but she still just screams. Yes. (laughs) It's weird. She's been to a lot of specialists. We're trying to figure that out. We need to give her a special test. Emerald, of course is uh, much, much older. She moved to New Mexico, where she's doing something with turquoise. Yes. But Amber, of course, is the head of Ambacon. She is the youngest CEO of America's uh, biggest telecommunications company. And we are still pissed that we have not seen a single dime of that money. Yes. So we should be getting at least some of that. Bella, of course... Bella turned her life around. We we did not expect this. Bella is a senior in high school. She's the cheerleading captain. Yes. She's the head of the lacrosse team. She is homecoming queen. Uh Uh, Yeah, basically, um, Bella's like a female version of the kid from Rushmore. She's just (laughs) in every club, super popular. She saved Latin. Yes. Really quite proud of her. She wears nothing but neon bright colors. And she's a hugger. She's a hugger, Bella is. Uh Uh-huh. Senior in high school, Bella. She's just hugging all the time, holding people's hands, trying to talk about, you know, hey, how are you feeling? You know, let me give you a foot massage. She's always, (laughs) always with the foot massages. Senior in high school, Isabella is. The foot massages gets everyone. Yeah. Tasha and I are still happily married, despite the repeated murder attempts. Uh, Yes, you can have one of the gummies. Despite the repeated, you know, cutting my brake line, rat poisoning in my food, we're still happily married. Of course, of course, we were the subject of numerous tabloids when two years ago... She tried to take me to court to uh, divorce me, but the lawyer, but the judge learned about all the repeated murder attempts and punished Natasha Mm -hmm. by forcing her to stay married to me. Uh. Now, Natasha and I are happily married via court order. The wisdom of Solomon had that judge. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 And, And of course... This is still a movie podcast, although we do talk a lot more about the growing threat of AI apocalypse. Yes. Is that a is that a sci-fi channel movie? If it is not, it needs to be. AI apocalypse. I'm assuming that movie already exists. Uh I, I wouldn't bet that it that it doesn't. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It just sounds like it does. So let's talk about movies. 2022 has been a huge year for movies. Everyone is still blown away by the big movie of the summer, Power Rangers 6. Yes. Wow, who would have thought that the Power Rangers movie would quickly become the biggest movie series of all time? Never would have predicted it. And who knew that Michael Bay would ever be able to top Transformers? Oh, yeah. You know? Who, Who? No one thought that Michael Bay would top the Oscar award-winning best picture Transformers 8. Yes. No one thought that. No one. So yeah, yeah, wow, that was an amazing film. Ben Kingsley was incredible in that. He was. He was. Yeah. And he deserved the Oscar nod. It's a shame that that he lost. Yeah. You know. Then it's... close behind, close behind Power Rangers 6 is Marvel Studios' first film in their Phase 9 series of movies, Great Lakes Avengers, starring <laughs> Owen Wilson as Flatman. Yes. But it's oh, good to wow. see, see Brendan Fraser again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Everyone loves Flatman now. <laughs> That's what's going as Flatman for Halloween. Everybody, everybody's going as Flatman. Yeah. And, of course, the biggest movie news of 2022, which, again, is totally the year in which we live in right now, is the Star Wars series. And to think, way back when, 
some people actually thought that it might be a mistake for Disney to spend the rest of Infinity making a gritty Star Wars movie one year, then yeah. a gritty, gritty spin-off the next, and then repeating that over and over and over again ad nauseum into Infinity, because that logic di- dictates that eventually you will oversaturate America with boring, gritty, shiny Star Wars spin-offs. Well, those mm-hmm. people were entirely wrong, <laughs> because this year's fourth Star Wars spinoff was amazing. Let me tell you, Jar Jar Binks and Admiral Akbar remaking Midnight Run in Space, you know, it shouldn't have worked, but it did. It, it beautifully. Beautifully. Amazing film. Amazing film. And Bella's already making a sandwich. You are 90% bread. You need to get a job so you can start buying bread for us. That's how much bread you eat. Okay, maybe not eat all the gummies. Seriously. Okay? Blow it down on the gummies. All right, Maxwell? Great, Maxwell, because we're in the future. And I cannot wait for Star Wars Episode Eleven next year. No. What beloved Star Wars character will they kill this time? Mm-hmm. Very excited. Well, that's it from 2022. I would talk more about it, but it's a Thursday, so of course I'm expecting every city's weekly earthquake slash earthquake slash tornado slash hailstorm slash hurricane attack. Thanks, Al Gore. <laughs> and scene. Thank you. <laughs>